we're talking all things ceramic. And of course it was in 1986 we first saw a wristwatch made in ceramic, the Da Vinci Perpetual Calendar. And David, it was a couple of years later that we saw the very first big pilot in ceramic. Yes, hi, Justin. Hi to London. Of course, you are quite right. The first step into the world of ceramics was indeed with the Da Vinci watch. And look what I've brought. This is the famous uh, Da Vinci. The reference is 3755. Here we have a very, very rare one in white ceramics. And I think uh, the round case was a perfect match for the uh, ceramic, for the material, which, which was quite new in the, those days. And David, just give us some insight into what gave IWC the, uh, the impetus in the late 80s to start innovating with ceramic as a material. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, you uh, may know um, we started in the late 1970s to experiment a little bit with new materials. For example, we had um, um, aluminiums, we have titanium, which was very important because the first completely watch made out of titanium was made by IWC, by the way. And so the management was very, very keen and interested in new innovative materials. And so by coincidence, uh, here in Schaffhausen, um, there was a company, um, you know, dealing with a new material, which was called the zirconium dioxide. And this was a very, very new material. Um, um, I think it was um, made, developed by some material researchers in Australia in the late 1970s. And at the end of the day, in 1986, like you mentioned, the first Da Vinci with a round case was born in this material. The next step was then the reference 1519 in the year 2012. And this is the watch I brought here that you can see. And David, what did, what did people think when they first saw that watch in 1986, the Da Vinci? I mean, it, 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 as you say, it was, it was innovative. It was using a material that had never been seen in the world of luxury before. What were, what were people's response to it? Um, I think it was really curiosity um, because yeah, that's the important point you said. I mean, um, does this high-tech material, which by the way also was fit in, you know, uh, spaceships, uh, a perfect match for a luxury watch? And this is what we had to communicate. So saying that the old tradition of watchmaking, because we have here a perpetual calendar inside, you know, in combination with these uh, innovative high-tech material. And so David, I understand it's also a very difficult material to manufacture. I know in front of you, you've got some very exciting new uh, additions to the Mojave collection. Um, can you just give us some insight into how difficult ceramic is to manufacture, particularly when it comes to different color grades like the one there on the Mojave? Um, yes, uh, you said, I mean, it's a complicated process because um, you have to calculate the size because um, in an easy way, I always explain it like this, it's uh, you have to bake literally uh, the case like you would do uh, make bread and you see also um, uh, the dough is, you know, changing when you uh, put it in the oven. And so it's, it's, it's really um, challenging, I would say. And another challenging thing are uh, the colors. And it's interesting to see that from the beginning, IWC was really experimenting with colors. So I showed the white case from the Da Vinci. Um, but as a matter of fact, and this is quite interesting that the plaque cer um, ceramics, this was really what people liked. And so um, if you look at the collection, the Top Guns, for example, um, black was really the favorite color. And now, like you said, with the Mojave Chronograph that was launched 2019, a completely new color came into the world of watches and it's a pleasure for me to show you because it's really, really nicely done. Um, if we have a look here, this is the perpetual calendar, Mojave. And like you said, um, the challenging thing is the color to have this, yeah, I would call it, um, yeah, desert-like, uh, a little bit greenish ceramic color. And finally, David, can we expect to see more color variations from IWC down the line? I hope um, it's possible. And looking back in the history, I mean, if you look at some prototypes that we keep in our archives, um, there are some very, I would call it interesting, different uh, colors of ceramic cases. So why not? I think um, this is, you know, um, we have to ask our design team. Maybe they have some interesting thing in the, in the pipe. And then we have a lot of things to talk uh, <laughs> at the latest stage. David, as always, thank you very, very much. I'm sure we'll be speaking very soon. Thank you for sharing that. And so there we have it, folks, the Mojave Desert Big Pilot Perpetual Calendar. 
just when you thought 2019 was the only year you'd be seeing the Mojave Desert, it's wonderful to see it back in the collection.